Hi everybody. So I've gotten, let's see, I've gotten a few heat sinks. This is one of them. It's uh, this is the biggest one. I'll probably be putting this on the very top. Um, I've gotten this one. It's a little bit smaller. It's uh, I'll probably be putting. I might be putting this on the bottom. There's uh, one other heat sink I got here. It's really small. But um, the cool thing about this one is it came with a fan, so there's a chance I'll be using this. I'll just have to test um, which one I'm going to be putting on the bottom, um, this heat sink or the one I just showed you. Let me get the fucking electrical tape off of it. Alright, so this is the heat sink I just received right here. It's uh, pretty small. This one, this right here is a little fan. It runs off of DC current. I bench tested it. I'll show you the footage of that in a second. Um, it consumes about, I think it was like 1.7 ohms or something like that, which is not a lot. It, that's a very small resistance for a fan, which means it won't consume a lot of power, which is good. I really want that. But at the same time, the fan's, well, it, it's really kind of slow. Like, it's, it's not a very fast or high-powered fan at all. So it's kind of right now is a toss up between this heat sink on the bottom or this heat sink. I mean, it's a big heat sink. I might find a way to um, get the best of both worlds by sticking this fan right here. It, it all just depends on you know what happens. Um, unfortunately, I can't reverse the polarity of this. I've already tried, so it only spins in one direction. So I'll have to figure out how to do that. Um, I'm having a really bad issue right now, like, the worst fucking kind of issue for anybody, uh, and that's that I'm out of money. Um, I really am not going to spend any more money on this until next paycheck. Um, that's the, that's pretty much the worst news I could have for myself right now. Uh, I can't, I've, I kind of had some spare change left over to see if I could play with this experiment. It wound up costing a little more than I thought. I kind of got carried away. I thought it was going to be a really small thing. It started out with me just going to use the container I have now. And um, it just kind of evolved and escalated. And now I'm going to be... I don't even know how much... Ugh. But yeah, I'm out of money for right now. But just for right now, this is all on pause until... I get more of that. Um, let's see. What I'm going to need is some wiring. I'm going to need some some rubber washers and screws so that I can mount all of this stuff on the lid of the cooler. I'm going to need... Um, let's see what else. Maybe a, a, a power strip because I'm going to be doing something else with that. And, uh, I'm really just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm out for right now. But, um, all that stuff will be in the future. So, I'd love to sell out right now. If I could, like, put a Lamar ad on my face or something like that to help get me some sponsorship, I'd do that. But right now, I have a Canes logo on my shoulder, and that's not paying for shit. So, until I get some some more change, I'm just going to, uh, I'll be bench testing some of the parts that are coming in, I'll be uploading that footage, but I'm not going to buy anything else, I just, I just got to stop, I got to stop, stop, stop with that, I got other more important bills I got to pay, and uh, that's it for right now. Next, you're going to see the footage of me bench testing this little fan. And, uh, see you next time. Alright. Hi, I'm Taylor Holmes. I just got some heat sink in the mail. That's three of them. I'm probably going to be using the smaller one on the cold side and this bigger one on the the hot side which will be on top um, this one came with a small fan right here 
Now I wanted to bench test the fan to see about roughly how many ohms of resistance it's going to put in the circuit. So the first thing I did was I got to test the voltage of this. It's about, let me see if I can get this right, it's about 12 volts, 12.2 volts roughly. And um, now I need to see um, how many amps I can get to run through this. Alright, so there I've got this connected in series with the circuit to test amps. Alright, and as you can see, the motor's running, and I'm getting about 1.8 amps going through that. So, if I, if I take a calculator, and I go, okay, about, what was it, about 12.2 volts? divided by about 1.8 amps it gives me about 6 or 7 ohms of resistance and that's really important because then I can take this in the electrical diagram and put it right here I was assuming that there would be 30 ohms for about uh, for one motor I'm going to put about 7 in here and see what happens now it kind of overloads my circuit but I have some extra resistance kind of overloads my circuit right here, but I have some extra resistors I can put in series with it to uh, lower the amperage so it doesn't destroy my DC power supply. And that's it.